In this video, I'm going to be going over some tips on the new void crop eater. So let's get straight on to this video. What do these new void crop eaters actually drop when you actually kill them? So they can go ahead and drop you void serpent tokens. So the tokens to actually spawn the void serpent boss in the void isles. And then they can go ahead and give you the anthemus crystals, but these ones are quite rare. But now you're probably curious on where they can actually spawn in your island, or like what do you need to do for them to actually spawn? So they are going to go ahead and spawn near any type of totem on your island, then they can spawn near crops, so fully grown crops they will go ahead and spawn near, or they'll spawn on top of, and then they'll go ahead and spawn near some berry seeds. So I've just told you where they can actually spawn, so now I'm gonna actually tell you what they target. They pretty much just target any type of totems and any type of crops what are fully grown, and that's pretty much it on what they can actually go ahead and target, and then what they don't target is any type of sapling, any type type of berry seed or any players. Now we're going to lead on to what they can actually destroy is they can go ahead and destroy any type of totem so it can be a farming totem or like just a normal coal totem or something like that. Then they can go ahead and destroy the actual nodes what they spawn and then they can go ahead and destroy fully grown crops. But yeah now I'm just going to be going over some extra tips what can actually help you like understanding this mob. So water can actually not move them places like at all like it, they would just not be affected by water but conveyors can actually move them places but it can be quite glitchy and just buggy overall and then you get around 15 xp in combat with not the four times boost it cannot attack players but that's just another thing to clarify and then this next one is kind of an important one what you're probably curious about is it cannot go through blocks or break blocks but yeah, that's pretty much everything what you should know about this new mob, what spawns on your island. And if you're still curious about the new update, click on this video right up here to watch our video next.